At Dolphin Financial Group, we discuss longevity planning since people are living longer and longer lives. Just think about how many people are now living past the age of 100. According to the 2011 Risks in a Process of Retirement Survey report by the Society of Actuaries, for an average 65-year-old couple today, there is a 72% chance one of them will live to 85, a 45% chance one will live to 90, and an 18% chance one will live to 95. Not only do you now have to factor in the idea of living 30 or even 40 years in retirement, but you also have to consider the costs of health care associated with that. No one wants to live in an assisted living facility or nursing home, but it is a potential outcome that must be considered. We know that the cost of such an arrangement is not cheap. A check of the Genworth 2015 Cost of Care surveys suggests that a private room in a nursing home in the Tampa, Florida area would cost approximately $102,000 per year. So how do you plan for that cost? There are many ways to do so, but we're going to examine four different options. The first option is to self-insure. This is a fairly straightforward method of planning. You simply put aside enough money to pay for a nursing home. For instance, if the cost of a nursing home is $100,000 per year and the average stay is roughly three years, then you would put aside $300,000. People with the financial assets to do this will often place the money where it is accessible when they need it. The second option is state assistance. This is known as Medicaid, which is managed at the state level. Now, each state has a different name for the program, and it shouldn't be confused with Medicare, as that is a common misconception. Medicaid is when your state assists with the cost of a nursing facility. However, you need to qualify for the program. The qualifications deal with financial assets. In other words, you must have limited financial assets available to you before the state will pick up the cost. This option is extremely helpful for some people, but the financial restrictions and qualification process is not necessarily applicable to everyone. The third option is long-term care insurance. Purchasing an insurance policy designed specifically to pay for long-term health care needs is a solid option for some people. This involves choosing an insurance company and designing a policy that will offset the cost of the facility. A policy owner will pay the premium or cost of the policy and use it if the time comes. Keys to determining the cost of the policy are the benefit amount, the age and health of the insured, and other features such as shared pool for money, couples, or inflation protections. Many people do not like the idea of paying for a policy that they may never use, and actually hope to never use it. However, similar to auto insurance, it comes in handy if you actually need to use it. The fourth option is hybrid insurance policies. Hybrid insurance policies have been gaining popularity in the past decade. A hybrid is basically a life insurance policy or annuity policy that has some added riders or features that offer some benefits in the event of long-term care type need. As an example, imagine having a $300,000 life insurance policy. If you pass away, there's a $300,000 benefit to your beneficiaries. If this policy has the hybrid features or rider that I mentioned, there is another way you can actually use the policy. Staying with the example, instead of dying, you develop a chronic illness, which puts you in a position where you need help eating and bathing. You could tap into that $300,000 to help pay for the people that are helping you. You would actually be accelerating the death benefit and using it on yourself rather than passing it on to your beneficiaries. Of course, there are rules and costs and stipulations on how and when you can use this feature, but the concept is very appealing to people. Needing long-term care is a scary thought. It's an ugly conversation for many people, but ignoring it doesn't make it go away. It's actually one of the three punches I talk about that commonly derail retirement plans. Please check out my three punches video if you have some time. Think about this, the biggest advocates for preparing for long-term health care needs are those that have actually seen a loved one go through it. You have options, so take time to learn more about them. Talk to someone with experience in this field. Build this into your retirement plan. At Dolphin Financial Group, we make a point to discuss longevity planning with all of our clients since the downside of not discussing this is way too big to ignore.